What's up guys, it's Jesse. Today I'm showing you how to build some arcade games. And if you have been following me for a while, you know that I actually did some other arcade games in the past. I'll link that video down in the description below if you're interested. These are really fun and easy to build. Right now I'm building this race car game. Then I'll build a claw machine and a karate themed game. I personally love using different stickers and printed pieces to theme these games. Like this printed race car screen is from a Lego Juniors car set, something you may not even think about or know that existed. So if you're ever shopping on BrickLink and come across something interesting I always suggest buying it because you never know when you can utilize it if you're interested in the pieces that I'm using I include parts list now at the end of the video so you can check that out and as always don't forget to smash that like button for me and subscribe if you don't already follow me on Instagram and TikTok at brick designed Okay, so this build actually uses several stickers. These in particular are from one of those Ninjago arcade pods you may have seen a while back, but I actually love using stickers and I think it can really spice up a build and really make it unique. So I don't always apply stickers when I buy an official set. I like to keep some that I know I'm gonna use in the future or that are just interesting I can keep on hand. I also love to purchase extra sticker sheets, usually from BrickLink, from interesting sets for reasons just like this.
So the reason I chose dark purple for the claw machine is because I wanted so bad to use that three by three window, which only comes in three colors. So it only comes in dark purple, dark brown, and tan. I looked up claw machine, like real claw machines for reference. And they're like, the back is like a mirror almost usually. It's very flat and you cannot see through all four sides of the claw machine. And I've seen other people build claw machines out of Lego and they usually use two windows and then two clear panels on each side. So I wanted to go for realism here. That's why I used those one by eight tiles in the back. Obviously I didn't have three, so I had to improvise with a one by six and a one by two. Either way, I love the way it turned out and I hope you do too. Thank <laughs> you.